Uh, the S6 has got an error codes coming up, a flashing brake light symbol and the, the traction control sometimes as well. Uh, managed to track it down, put the VCDS on that I've got and uh, it's no communications with the ABS module. So the brake error codes have been coming going for a while, now they come. Uh, I'll show you what the code looks like, or what, the, what the error looks like now. Right, so this is what happens when you start the car at the moment. So you see, and it comes on, and get three, can, three beeps, and the flashing park light, park brake light. So the park brake is not on at the moment. It's it's off. Now it's on. I put it on. It stops flashing. It's on solid now because the brake's on. But uh, of course you can't drive with the brake on. And that parking brake light is basically the indication that there's something wrong with the brake. Well, with the module, it's not talking. So my ABS module in the S6 stopped communicating with the car. Um, got some ABS and brake light errors on the dash tried my VEGCOM and my uh, other uh, ODBC readers and they both said no, no communicado. So the controller, you can buy new ones. In New Zealand they're between $1,500 and $2,000 for a new one. I found some secondhand ones which you don't know how bad they are. What happens is the circuits on the circuit boards dry out and the connections get disconnected or they, they, they lose continuity across the connectors. Uh, there's a couple of crowds uh, in the US, I think there's some in the UK too, that will go through and resolder the circuit boards. Um, CheapABS.com in America was the cheapest that I could find and that was $250 American including shipping back. All up it cost me $550 including shipping there from New Zealand back to New Zealand and the circuit board has been fixed. They also had to reconnect some of these uh, valve actuators. These are the actuators that control the valves that control the pressure to each brake. Some of them were pretty badly out of place. Um, when I packaged it I did tape them up solidly. Um, they redid them and put this plastic holder on which they must get made fabricated to hold them all in place during shipping. The shipping on the way there obviously wasn't good so I had a couple of problems with the time it got there but they've had fixed it all up. Hopefully it's all good. Um, the only problem I may have is some of these actuators but as long as I carefully put them on, he said, guide them on, it should be good. So I'm ready to put it in the car. I've taken, I've taken all the bits out now with the S6, uh, it's 2003 B5 Audi S6. With the S6, um, to get at this unit without having to take the whole pump and undoing all your brake lines, uh, you can get at it and take the controller off and put the controller back on again by removing the water bottle from the inner guard that gives you enough room to get in and out. There's the valves that operate the ABS from the pump. Uh, those are the ones I've got to slide that over. I've got plenty of room now with that water bottle removed. See, there's the water bottle down there. You can remove it from inside the guard and go to take off the inner guard. There it is, inner guard. Take that off. Wheel off, obviously. To guard off. Uh, undo the bolts on the inside of the top here and here and that back in and yeah we're ready to go I'll cut back when it's all done and hopefully the error codes are all gone and it's working everything's all good and I can go and get some off voila through the magic of YouTube it is now all back together again alright let's see what it's uh, it's all fixed now so Get here on all lights are off. There it is. Gone. No brake light. Brake handbrakes on. Off. Put it on. 
brake lights on uh, turn it off it's off and there's no extra lights that's awesome see no lights it's all done well that's all from me till next time